In this lecture, we are going to discuss very important and the very interesting topic that is lab diagnosis of the hepatitis B virus. So we will try to learn it in a more simplified way. So let's get started. First of all, we will look at the important antigens of the hepatitis B virus. So basically hepatitis B virus has three most important antigens. First one is the hepatitis B surface antigen. We are looking at the antigens of the hepatitis B virus. So it has three most important antigen hepatitis B surface antigen. Okay. Next is the hepatitis B core antigen hepatitis B E antigen. So here are basically the three antigen and against them you will see the antibodies. Okay. Against you will see the antibody. Okay. Hepatitis B surface antigens against you will see the hepatitis B surface antibody. Okay. Similarly, hepatitis B C core antibody, hepatitis B E antibody. So here are basically the three antigen and against them you will see the three antibodies. Okay. So basically hepatitis B E antigen and the antibody is not really performed in the lab. Okay. Because it will just show the transmissibility. If the hepatitis B E antigen is present, then it means that that patient can transmit the hepatitis B virus to the other. Okay. So it's just used for the transmissibility. Okay. And it is not important in the diagnosis of the acute and the chronic hepatitis B virus. Okay. Similarly, if there is a large amount of the antibodies, then there is less likely to transmit the hepatitis B virus to the other patients. Okay. Now, remaining will be the four things. Okay. Normally, hepatitis B core antigen is not really performed in the lab. Okay. So, remaining will be the hepatitis B surface antigen, hepatitis B surface antibodies and the hepatitis B core antibodies. These are the important things that are helpful in the diagnosis of the hepatitis B. Okay. So, we will understand it with the help of the graph. So, first one, we have uh, written acute disease, window period, recovery period and the chronic carrier states. And against them, you will see hepatitis B surface antigen and the antibodies. Surface antigen, surface antibodies and hepatitis B core antibodies. Okay. So, in the acute disease or acute hepatitis, you will see the positive hepatitis B surface antigen. In the acute state, you will see the positive hepatitis B surface antigen. Okay. Next, in the window period, in that period, there is no detectable antigen in the serum of the patient. Okay. So, that is the window period. Okay. In that case, surface antigen will be negative. That's quite simple. Okay. Next is the recovery period. Okay. In the recovery period, obviously, there will be the no hepatitis B virus and there will be the no hepatitis B surface antigen in that case. So, in the recovery period, you will also see the negative surface antigen. Okay. Last is the chronic carrier states. That's most important. In the acute disease, you will see the presence of the surface antigen. But if the surface antigen continuously present in the serum of the patient for six months, then it will go towards the chronic carrier states. Okay. So, in that case, you will also see the positive surface antigen Okay, and in that case, if the time period is six months or greater, then it will go towards the 
chronic carrier states it means that virus will always be present in the body of the patient who are actually chronic carrier okay that is important thing between the acute disease and the chronic disease it can go towards recovery but in that case it go towards the hepatocellular carcinoma okay next is the hepatitis b surface antibody okay if the antigen is present against them you will see the formation of antibodies but important thing which you have to remember we can't detect the antibodies in the acute disease why because antibody actually produce against the antigen but the quantity is low if i say if there are 10 surface antigen if there are 10 surface antigen and you will see the production of the five surface antibodies so it means that five surface antibodies will bind to the five surface antigen and remaining will be the five antigen okay so that's the important thing and five antibodies will combine to the five antigen and remaining you will see the five surface antigen so that's why surface antibody will be negative in the acute disease okay again that's the important thing okay next in the window period in the window period when there is no detection of the antigen then there is no detections of the antibody okay in the recovery period that's most important in the recovery period you will see the presence of the antibodies okay that's the most important thing okay and what type of antibodies ig ig g that's the most important thing uh, in the acute disease you will see the presence of the igm form of the antibodies but in the recovery you will see the igg antibodies and last in the chronic carrier state similarly antibodies will be negative why because the antibodies that actually produce against the antigen will combine to the antigen and there is no detections of the antibody in that case similar to the previous one these two cases chronic case and the acute case will be similar okay in both situations and last most important core antibodies okay in the core antibodies core antibodies will always be positive in all this situation okay that is the important thing which you have to remember in acute disease it will be positive in the window period it will be positive in the recovery period it will be positive and in the chronic carrier state it will be positive that's why hepatitis b core antibody is the important hallmark test of the hepatitis b virus that is the important thing hepatitis b surface antigen can also be used because it actually becomes positive in the acute disease but important thing which you have to remember that the hepatitis b surface antigen will also be present in the incubation period incubation period exposure of the hepatitis b virus until the appearance of the symptoms that is actually the incubation period so it means that when the patient having no symptoms but hepatitis b surface antigen can still be present in the blood of that patient that's why some patient says that we are healthy we haven't any hepatitis b virus but still they can have hepatitis b surface antigen in their body because the incubation period is actually 10 to 12 weeks after that the symptom will start appearing in the patient so that is the important thing about the incubation period and the hepatitis b surface antigen if we discuss all these th things surface antigen surface antibodies and the core antibodies with the help of the graph we will divide into two acute and the chronic case first of all we will discuss the acute case next we will discuss the second graph that will be the chronic case on the x-axis 
we will take the months and on the y axis we will take the titer of the antigen and the antibodies or you can say simply concentration of the antigen and the antibodies okay first of all appearance of the hepatitis b surface antigen at first months okay you will see the appearance of the hepatitis b surface antigen okay and it will go in between fifth to sixth month okay that is the hepatitis b surface antigen okay it is actually positive in the acute case next you will see from that case from the second month you will see the appearance of the hepatitis b core antibody and it will remain for all the period as we have discussed hepatitis b core antibodies will be positive in all the situation okay that is the important thing but hepatitis b surface antigen will be positive in acute disease and it will become negative in the window period it means that after that you will see the presence of between this fifth and the sixth months you will see the presence of the window period when there is not detection of the surface antigen okay and after that you will see the appearance of the hepatitis b surface antibody because antibody surface antibody will be positive in the recovery period that is important thing after the window period you will see the appearance of the hepatitis b surface antibodies it will not appear in the early stages like the acute disease and the window period it will appear in the recovery period so that is hepatitis b surface antibody okay so that is important thing which you have to remember about the acute uh, disease and in the chronic disease you will see first of all you will see the presence of at the first months you will see the presence of hepatitis b surface antigen and it will always be present in the serum of the patient for 6 months or greater than 6 months and now it will become the chronic state virus is continuously replicating in the body of the chronic carrier so that's why hepatitis b surface antigen will always be positive in that case and in the second case at the second month you will see the presence of the hepatitis b core antibody and that always be positive in all the situation so that is the important thing between the acute and the chronic hepatitis b virus and last most important hepatitis b virus hepatitis b virus can also be detected with the help of the pcr polymerase chain reaction in which we will detect the dna of the hepatitis b virus so this is all about the lab diagnosis of the hepatitis b virus if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much